Hi friends, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session we have discussed some examples regarding how to find cubes by using geometric progression. And now in this session, we are going to have a look of some more examples regarding the same concept that is finding the cubes by using geometric progression. Now wait a wait, let us see what the examples are. The example that I am going to take in this session is find the cube of 59. So friends, to find the cube of 59, we have some procedure or steps that we have to follow. So let us see what the procedure or the steps are. So friends, in our earlier sessions we have discussed about the procedure or steps that we use to find the cube of a given two digit number. Now let us see, the first step, what we have to do here is, we have to separate the digits in the given number. So here the given number is 59 and if we separate the digits, we get the numbers 5 and 9. After getting these two numbers, now moving to step number 2, what we have to do here is, we have to find the common ratio between the numbers 5 and 9 and it is done by dividing the second number with the first number and therefore we can say that 9 divided by 5 is equals to 9 by 5. After getting the common ratio, now moving to step number 3, we have to find the geometric progression series starting the first term with the cube of first digit that is 5 cube. So friends, therefore the first term what we are going to get here is 5 cube which is equals to 125. Now to find the second term what we are going to do here is we are going to multiply the first term with the common ratio 9 by 5. So therefore 125 into 9 by 5 is equals to 225. So this is the product what we get when we multiply the numbers 125 with the fraction 9 by 5. In order to find the third term again we have to take the second term and we have to multiply it with the common ratio 9 by 5. So therefore 225 into the common ratio 9 by 5, we get the product 405. And again, to find the fourth term, what we have to do here is, we have to take the third term and we have to multiply it with the common ratio 9 by 5. So therefore, 405 into 9 by 5 is equals to 729. And this is the product what we will get when we multiply the third term with the common ratio 9 by 5. After getting the four terms, that is the first term, second term, third term and the fourth term of the series, which are in geometric progression. Now we have to move towards to the fourth step. Here in the fourth step, what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply the first term with a thousand, the second term with a hundred and the third term with a ten. So now let us start doing multiplication. So the first term that is 125 into thousand is equals to 125,000 and second term that is 225 into 100 is equals to 22,500 and the third term that is 405 into 10 is equals to 4050. After multiplying these things, now what we have to do here is, we have to take the second product and the third product and we have to add them and this comes under step number 5. So here in the step number 5, we take the second product and the third product that is 22,500 and 4050 and we will add these two things. By adding we get 26,550. After getting the sum, again we have to multiply this sum with the number 3. So by multiplying 26,550 with the 3, we get the product as 79,650. After getting the product, now finally moving to step number 6. Now what we are going to do here is, we are going to add the first term, the new product that is 79,650 and the fourth term. Then we will get the final answer what we are waiting for. Now, in order to add the first term, the new product and the fourth term, I am going to write these three things sequentially as shown here with some horizontal bars like this. So now, let us start doing addition. So 0 plus 0 plus 9, we get 9 and 0 plus 5 plus 2, we get 7 and 0 plus 6 plus 7, we get 13 as answer but we had to take 3 and we had to take 1 as carry on. So 1 plus 9, we get 10 and 10 plus 5, 15. So again we had to write 5 and we had to take 1 as carry on. So 1 plus 7 we get 8 and 8 plus 2 we get 10 and we had to write 0 in the answer and we had to take 1 as carry on. So 1 plus 1 we get 2. And so therefore this is the final result that is 205,379. And so therefore we can say that 59 cube is equals to 205,379. So friends this is the way how we can use geometric progression very useful in finding the cube of a given two digit number. So I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this geometric progression in finding the cube of a given two digit number. So friends, 
in our next session, we will be having some more examples regarding the same concept or method. For watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.